Hi all, Mass Barnkop from Kaiser Power Electronics. In this video I am going to make this little 150 watt induction heater turn into this. The small 150 watt induction heater as seen in the video where I tested this. There is a link for that video in the description and also a little card on this video. Now it is a pretty basic unit, has two large inductors, has the small MOSFETs sitting underneath them and the resonant capacitors for the small work coil sitting at the back. Now the idea is now to make this handheld. I will saw out a piece of uh, wood here to hold on to some different components that I would like to have on this handheld unit. So first we need some batteries for it to go in handheld. For that I chose two battery holders for 18650 batteries. I have some different um, batteries salvaged from old laptop battery packs. These are some LG batteries and I also have some Panasonic. Now I, I do have more of these to actually use the same type uh, as I would use two of these packs in parallel. 3.7 volt each so putting three of these in series I would get yeah just below the 12 volt DC this is rated for. So I will not push this to the maximum current, which is not bad because 150 watt at 12 volt DC is some 12 amps. But I also happen to have a small DC volt and current meter up to 10 amps. So that will fit nicely on the unit. It uh, will be great to know the at least the uh, voltage on the batteries to not drain them completely, but also know the current that you're currently pushing into the circuit uh, so you can see when you will reach the curry temperature of the material you're heating. I also want a, a little switch to simply turn it on and off. And that's about it for this project. Okay, so all the major cutouts has been made. There's room for the induction heater, for the volt and ampere meter, and the on-off switch. Now, my idea is to run all the wire on the back side of this. So I will drill, drill some holes for this battery holder, and the one sitting at the opposite side will just have the wires running up behind this instrument and switch. So all I need to do now is uh, drill some holes for the uh, legs of the battery holder here. Two of them all the way through to get the wires through to the other side and the others are just to make room for these small uh, yeah, short circuit clamps to uh, make the series connection for three batteries. Everything is connected, put together, and I'll better do a test of the uh, volt and current meter before inserting the induction heater into the loop. Now I did switch around on the plus and minus because I did not check the schematic for the voltmeter at first, but it has to do the current sensing on the negative lead in order to only connect the positive lead for the voltmeter. So you cannot sense current on the positive lead with these cheap meters unless you have a external power supply. So be aware of that. So it's turned off and we we just try to insert batteries to see minus to positive. 
And then again, the opposite way and the opposite way again. So, 12.23 volts, zero amps, that works nicely. So uh, let's get the rest connected and make this work. And it's ready to test. Look at it. Looks pretty nice on this side. Not so good on this side. I'm not quite happy about this, but, but the terminals on the small induction heater broke, so I had to solder it directly to it. Not quite the solution I would like to have made, but it's what I could do right now. So uh, let's uh, plug in the batteries and uh, turn it on. So let's see what the idle current is. Oops, zero. That's not good. Do we even see a voltage drop? Yeah. And something is heating up. So it seems like it's working, but... Somehow the current sensing is not working. That's kind of a bummer. I had really hoped that I could see the current draw, but at least we can see the voltage dropping, so we are indeed pulling some uh, current. For another test, I have a really thin-walled uh, steel pipe here from some cheap uh, IKEA shelf of some sort. As you can see, it's quite rusted, but uh, let's try that. Wow, that's really pulling some current. Dropping down to 9 volts. So at least I have the uh, voltage to, uh, to look at. Whoa! Okay, so that's um, done for. And say this is uh, probably not going to work much anymore. At least the LED is still on. Yeah, that's cool. LED is still on. <sighs> so uh, that's that's it for the uh, mini miniature um, induction heater here. Maybe I should turn it off. But oops, there goes the inductor. Oops, I better not start the smoke alarm. Damn it. <coughs> A lovely smell of burned electronics in the workshop right now. The smoke is about gone. Um, that was a pretty short-lived project, I must say. We can see actually underneath the caps here that it burned all the way through the PCB. The MOSFET here is completely done. But uh, the funny thing is that uh, if I try to switch it on here, 12 volts? Oh, the blue LED is still on. <laughs> but it's completely toast. It even desoldered the inductor on the uh, burning MOSFET. So hot did it get? So oh, it's still hot. So I guess that was the end of the miniature induction heater. Not quite sure how it died. It was like I did touch the uh, work piece there. But uh, as the coil is insulated, that was no, nowhere near a high enough voltage on the coil to cause a short circuit. So until next time, see ya!